Hi. So in this video, I'm going to go over what I like to call the nickel and dime problem. And it does not have to be a question about nickels and dimes, but you know, normally um, a question like this would have a certain item. So in this case, um, we know that our items are coins and there are 40 of them. And we know that the total value of our coins are 290. Um, and magically, we're supposed to be able to figure out how many nickels there are. Um, and it really and truly doesn't feel like there's enough information. Um, but trust me, there is, and you will see this magic unfold. All right, so we need to pick out a variable. The question is about nickels and dimes, so we can use either one. But since the question is asking us specifically about nickels, I am going to choose to use nickels as my variable. And conveniently, it starts with N, so I'm going to use N. I don't have to. I could use X. I could use P. I could use anything I want, but I use N. All right. So now that we know that nickels is represented by N, here is the key to unlocking this problem, to figure out an expression for dimes. Well, remember that there are 40 coins in all, and we know that N of these coins are nickels. Everything else out of the 40 will be dimes, which means then that there are 40 minus n dimes. So I'll repeat that just to make sure we got that. Since there were 40 coins in all, and we determined that there were n nickels, then everything else out of the 40 will be dimes, which is how we got that expression, 40 minus n dimes. All right, that is super important to unlocking this question. Now that we have that down, everything else is actually a tiny bit easier. All right, so just so you know, $2.90 would be much easier stated as just 290 cents. I just converted that to cents, you know, moving that over a couple times there. Um, and the reason I did that is because nickels and dimes are both measured in cents. As you know, a nickel is five cents and a dime is 10 cents. All right, so that's the worth of the nickel. That's how much a nickel is worth. That's how much a dime is worth. Now that we have that down, let's set this up. We know that there are n nickels, each worth five cents. And we're putting it together with 40 minus n dimes, each worth 10 cents. And once you put them all together, you're going to get 290 cents. All right, I'm going to leave the units off just for convenience sake. Um, actually, let's leave it on. All right, now let's cross it off. Sorry, I keep changing my mind, but I just don't want you to be confused. Okay, so now that we have that, we can solve this algebraically. So 5 times n, or n times 5 as we now have it, is really 5n plus... And we can go ahead and distribute this 10. As you may know, it doesn't matter if the 10 is sitting in front or behind. It's the same thing. So when we distribute that 10, we get, uh, let's see, we get 400 minus 10n is equal to 290. All right. Now we can go ahead and put our like terms together and we get negative 5n plus 400 is equal to 290. All right, so we want to isolate the n, so it might be a good idea to take 400 from that side to get the n closer to being alone. And so we get that negative 5n is equal to negative 110. Now finally, our last step in getting that n alone is dividing both sides by negative 5. And we get that n is equal to 22. So, never forget our last step in solving word problems. We want to make sure that our problem, in fact, makes sense. So I'm going to go to the next page and we're going to check to make sure that our problem makes sense. 
All right, so we just got that there, 22 nickels, which means that since there were, oops, since there were 40 coins in all, that would mean that they're 18 dimes. All right, so if we have 22 nickels, well, 22 times five cents, what is the value of our nickels? The value of our nickels is 110 cents, or we can otherwise say $1.10. All right, how about the dimes? Well, if they're 18 dimes, well, 18, each of them worth 10 cents. So the value of our dimes is 180 cents. So we can otherwise say the value of our dimes is 180. Now, when we put that together, or nickels and or dimes, we do in fact get $2.90. And 90 cents. So yes, our answer does make sense. Ooh.